there are these moments in, in all of our lives, right? And I'm sure you've had it. Uh, it's interesting because I could I, I walk in my own skin. Mm -hmm. um, I know Sean better than anybody else knows Sean. And I just look at me as a regular guy who worked hard and I have these different chapters in my life. Right. And then people will come up now and what up OG? And people would tell me <laughs> these different parts of my life. Right. And I'm, how do you even know that? Right. And then I have to stop and think and be like, yo, I was really part of some special moment. Special moment. Have you, like, when did it dawn on you? What did, can you remember somewhere in your career where, because there's so many names you work with. Yeah. Even before you got to a Kevin Bacon. Right. Or, or, or maybe even after the Kevin Bacon. Is there a part of your life where you stopped and have just moment of clarity, for lack of a better way to, to say it, where you're like, damn, like, it's me, Benny, like, it, right. from, from it's, West Philadelphia. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I, I've had those, you know, the unfortunate thing is like when people pass, you kind of reflect on them and it brings you back to other moments. Um, and and uh, the f one moment, that I that always stands out to me, and I was on the set. I, I do uh, the show All American, as well. I've directed on there, and um, I was talking to the to the actors, and I call them kids because they they young, you know, younger younger cats. And so, um, the main actor is actually a British is British, and when I first got there, he I didn't know he was British until like two weeks into shooting. The whole time he had this L.A. South Central accent. He kept it on all the time. So in his headset, he always had Nipsey Hustle playing. Nipsey this, Nipsey that. So I said, oh yeah, I know Nipsey. I said, Nipsey's my man. He said, you know Nipsey? I said, yeah. I said, you, I said, I met Nipsey actually in an interesting sort of way. I said, um, you know, I was, I was trying to do this movie in LA. I actually was hired to do this movie called Crenshaw Boulevard. And it was 2005. And I said, um, I went out there and met with the producers and they told me at the time that they had these issues with the rolling sixties and they didn't want him to do the movie. And this, I said, all right, cool. I said, well, you know, let me, let me have a meeting with them and see what the issues are and see if we could salvage it. Cause it was a great script. Um, so a frat brother of mine grew up with one of the members of the rolling six out in LA. So he set the meeting up at his house. So I come to the meeting and it was like five of them. It was one of me, <laughs> but I knew we were, you know, I knew we was good. Right. So we had the meeting, it was big U and some, and a couple other cats. So it became clear in that meeting that no movie was going to be done at all. Period. Like it wasn't, it wasn't even, they came out of respect, but they wasn't trying to have no movie shot over there. Um, but what came out of that was, um, a relationship that I had built with Big U because he said, yo, I respect the fact that you from New, from New York, right? It's like, yeah, you from New York and you came out here and you didn't just try to just film the movie. You took the time to come and sit with us and talk. He said, yo, I'm having a birthday party for my son on the weekend. Why don't you come to my house and bring your son? And my son was six years old at the time, right? He's 21 now. So I go to the, go to the house bring my son, his son, my son with the exact same age at the time. And when I get there, there's this lanky, chilling 19 year old kid named Nipsey Hussle. So Big U is like, yo, this is my artist, Nipsey Hussle. I'm like, what's up, bro? How you doing? So I'm remembering that and it made me smile, right? Mm -hmm. So when Daniel Ezra is talking to me about Nipsey. Nipsey was alive, mind you. So I said, oh, that's Nipsey. That's my guy. Like, you know, I go way back from when I first moved out here to L.A. When he passed, I cried, right? And it's like, it's very few. And, and I cried because, A, what he was trying to do. I met him long before he was this big artist. And it just really saddened me. And this... Like I, I cried and then I smiled because I got a chance to actually know this brother and we had conversations and we kicked it. And we actually at one time lived in the same apartment building for a couple of years in LA and all. So it was like, you know, that was a moment for me 
that when it happened, I reflected on, damn dog, you like really knew this kid. You know, like it's it's out there like that. I didn't even go to, I didn't go to the funeral at the thing. I went to the funeral home where the family was. I didn't want to go to the, to the big thing. Yep. I wanted to go and say hi, right? So that was one moment. But then another fun moment for me is with DMX again. Another brother going too soon, man. Um, X and I, me and little X were in, uh, in Toronto shooting, I can't remember, Donnell Jones video. I'm not sure what we were shooting. But we're walking up Young Street and this car comes racing down the street. And the car does a complete U-turn in the middle of the street through traffic, honking, blocking, and pulls up beside us. The window comes down and we hear, yo, 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 what y'all doing here? <laughs> and we look and it's X. So we like, yo, what's up? He said, yo, I'm going to my karate training for my movie. Get in, come on in. Now, mind you, everybody knows that DMX was the worst driver in the history. <laughs> everybody knows that. So we get in the car and it was a two-seater. I want to say it was like a, a, coupe, a Benz Coupe or a Lexus Coupe or something like that. So we get in, I'm sitting in the back. Little X is in the front, DMX is driving. I'm sitting in the back, my knees are up by my chest. And he's eating lunch meat. Now, mind you, I guess they had put him on some sort of diet for the movie and stuff like that. So he's eating turkey meat just out of the thing that he had just gotten from somewhere. So he turns around doing 60 miles an hour to hand me the turkey meat. So I said, yo, dog, yo, 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 said, yo, no, 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 I need you to keep your hand on the wheel. Oh, hey, what you scared? I said, yes, pull over. So we pulled over and I got out. I said, yo, let me out. I get out the car. So little X was getting back in. I said, where you going? He said, I'm getting in the car. I said, no, you're not. <laughs> and then X closes the door and takes off. He just leaves. <laughs> so we wind up meeting him at the place and he was late. When we get there and we had a big laugh about it. He said, like, you were really scared? I said, yes, I'm not. No, yeah, I was really scared that you was going to crash and kill me. You was going to be all right, but I was going to die in the backseat. No, I'm okay with I'm okay with whatever you call me. I was getting out of that car, and so it's just it's interesting because you know when he he passed and and, and he was in the hospital for so many days, and I felt sad because he was such an you know and so many other times so many stories with him that were just fun stories I have right, but it was just like I didn't um, I, I I got sad but then I laughed right. Now, mind you, these are two individuals. I only shot a video for DMX one time. I never shot a video for Nipsey Hussle, but the relationships were still there. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. The, I was an AD on a bunch of X videos early on, but in terms of me being a director and, and directing them. So this hip hop thing is so much more than just like the, the transactional relationship that you have with somebody. No, it really, really is. You know um, what I mean? And that's, and that's, and I only attribute that to God, putting people, putting people together, putting, linking people together and, and having that, you know? And so, um, yeah, man, I sit back at times and go, wow, you really like you, like all the names you named of the people who I've directed stuff for, but then the names of, Folks, I just know and have never done anything for and have these relationships with it just to me is just incredible. It's just incredible. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.